Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we are back here with another review, and today we have a review here. This is the Skagen Slim Fit Leather Blue Watch, guys. So this is a really, really cool watch. I've been wearing these, guys, if you've seen any of my videos within the past year or so, I've been wearing this watch every day, because I've been basically been wearing this watch every day for the past year or so. So I think, unlike a lot of reviews I make on this channel, I have hindsight of a long period of time here. I've had this thing for a year, and I would love to share with you my favorite watch. I've never been able to wear a watch for me. and I've never been able to wear a watch in my life. I've always thought they were uncomfortable. My arms are pretty skinny, so the watch can't be too big. If the watch is too big, it doesn't fit my arm, you know? So I'm really picky, and my girlfriend picked this out for me. I think we were at Macy's about a year ago or so. And she got me this watch, guys, and I just want to tell you about the watch here. So, guys, the straps here which is usually where the value is kind of, it, uh, it does depend. Sometimes the head has the value too. Uh, this is leather. This is all leather, guys. Uh, it looks, it's a very nice leather. It's a darker leather. I, I'm a fan of the color scheme. I'm a fan of the material. The material doesn't bother me. Uh, there's no irritation from it over an extended period of time, which is good. And that's something you can't take for granted. It's comfortable. It doesn't irritate. There's a lot of good things I look for. Then guys, this is the base here. This is the back of the base. And this is the front here. I know watches these days have all these different color schemes and styles for each of the numbers on here and the dials and everything there's so many different types you got analog watches you have uh watches that connect to like the the master clock gmt time in great britain right on the prime meridian right i believe it's on the prime meridian around there so you, you, in greenwich right i believe that's where it is so you have watches like that you have smart watches you have so many different types of watches, guys. And to be honest with you, I care about the fashion aspect of it the same, if not even more, than the fact that it can tell the time. I don't really need much, you know? And I think these little dots here, they're elegant. They're elegant. It's very low profile. It's not going to, like, be the statement piece. You know, I don't need a watch to be the statement piece. I need it to be a part of my outfit. And I'm not wearing the white clothing to, to show you how cool it looks. But, you know, just take my word at it. So we're going we're gonna to put this bad boy on. Uh, it's easy to put on, and, uh, so guys, also, I was about to say this before, but the base of the unit here is, uh, stainless steel. It's stainless steel, and then obviously it's airbrushed or whatever with certain materials depending on what you need. Because if this was real, you know, this has a rose gold, uh, color, guys, on the base with, uh, with some white stainless steel on, the, on the, the sides of it, not the side, but the middle. So if that was all in actual rose gold, that would cost exponentially more and i feel like skagen in my experience looking at the different watches they have you know this is kind of a very common thing to do with watches it's you know in the end watches are a commodity it's not something you need um every cell phone these days can tell time so watches aren't a commodity anymore uh, like they used to be back in the day where they were invaluable so as a result of this you know it's really important to have other features other things that make it special and i think the price point here of under hundred dollars this thing is like it was like 80 bucks when i got it guys it's still about 80 bucks and but this watch looks really cool like yes it's stainless steel and yes it's leather but this on the inside here guys it looks so cool um the blue changes color depending on your environment uh it's not easy for me to show you this feature but it kind of looks like outside guys see how dark blue that it is outside uh, it's really hard to point right there and then right Right there. So it's kind of like how it is now in the darkness, but when it's in the light like this, it's more of a, tur a turquoise blue. I think it's a really cool how the watch changes color based on the light refraction. So I think that's uh, really cool, guys. So yeah, I mean, I'm not going to keep you guys here too long. I just wanted you guys to know. I just wanted you guys to know about the watch I've been wearing. It even has a cool little accent there. Uh, you guys see that? Sorry, I'm not doing the best job. There we go. There's a little accent, there's some more stainless steel over here, just just in case you needed more. So yeah, guys, overall, I really love this watch. This is the first watch I've ever worn in my life that I didn't hate. <laughs> so if you do want to buy this product, guys, I strongly recommend it. Uh, Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for more content. My girlfriend made a video today. I thought it went very well. I encourage you guys to watch all the videos on this channel. Uh, she's going to be helping me out, which I think is amazing to have some help here. Because I, this has been a one-man show for the past 11 years. And it's great to get some help. It's great to help have some help. So I'm really excited to have her on board, guys. Give her a warm welcome. 
And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So thank you and bye.